afternoon do team uh i want to first of all welcome everybody to uh, uh learn the meaning behind the songs part two um recapping in the last session that we had was it was our uh it was our very first session and it was uh it turned out really well you know where we uh we had a couple of singers come on and they sang some of the songs and shared their stories and uh, a bit of the history of uh, uh, the Red Shadow Singers. And we also brought on uh, Robert Maitweyashing as our language expert. Uh, again, the purpose and the meaning of these sessions was to, uh, to, to talk a bit about the, the songs, their history and their origin, where, th where they come from, but also the importance of, of knowing and understanding uh, the sacredness of the songs and, and the wording, the wording and the language in the songs. You know, it's, it's important to, to know that part of uh, the songs. Um, it was, uh, we, we got a lot of uh, really good and positive uh, feedback from our, our last session. Um, so again, we're coming into part two, and uh, we've got a couple of more uh, more singers, uh, and we also have uh, again Robert Maitweyashing is going to be in all of our uh, our sessions uh, to translate and to give that uh, the the translations to to the words and the songs that that we're singing. Um, so, you know, once again, I want to welcome everybody to uh, part two of Red Shadow, Learn the Meaning Behind the Songs. Um, in the lineup tonight, we have, uh, um, of course, we have Robert again, and then we have uh, a grandmother by the name of uh, Mary Maitweyashing. Um, I know that, uh, you know, t this evening is the, the Super Bowl. And a lot of people are focused in watching uh, the Super Bowl and, you know, the timing and when we're, we're having this event at the same time. And when we were talking about that, I was like, geez, you know, a lot of people are going to be uh, watching the Super Bowl. They're going to be busy with that. So we're going to have to bring in somebody that uh, can compete and in, in that's the, the level of uh, Tom Brady. So right away we thought uh, Mary. You know, she's uh, she's a really well-known uh, grandmother. Um, she's a world-famous YouTuber. <laughs> she recently uh, made an appearance on a, a, a CBC series, uh, Burden of Truth. You know, you, you can see her on there. Uh, she's also uh, a, a published author. You know, she's she's written some some stuff. Uh, she's also, uh, I, I hear she's a, a photographer too, you know, where um, I believe it was CTV that uh, posted some of her photos that she, that, that she took in her, in her community. Um, and I can go on and on and on about, uh, about Mary. Um, she's, you know, she's one of the elders recognized in the Turtle Lodge, where she does uh, a lot of the uh, full moon ceremonies and she she sings uh, the water song and she blesses uh, the water in, in our ceremonies um, and that was one of the things that I asked her to to come on and to uh, to do the water song you know um, in the start the, in all of our ceremonies you know it's it's the women and their responsibility to, to take care of that and I will get uh, Mary to uh, to talk to that, you know, as as a grandmother to to speak, uh, you know, about the teachings of uh, of the water, and she, she can talk about uh, the water song, and she's uh, she's fluent in her language too, so she she won't really need the uh, uh, Robert to translate the, <laughs> to translate that. So without further ado, uh, Mary. Are you there? Mary. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. There she is. 
Good evening, my uh, dear relatives and <coughs> friends. I uh, want to acknowledge my name, Sungagabwe Sawanoikwe, strong standing golden eagle woman. I'm a turtle spirit and I'm of the Crane clan and I'm from Lake Manitoba <coughs> First Nation. Just want to say thank you Miigwech for the invitation for me to come and participate in your um, evening session about the songs and, and the language. And uh, I, I say greetings to all of you. And uh, so I'll, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the uh, the song that I'm going to share, is that what I'm doing now, uh, um, Sabe? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay, okay. So um, I'm going to be sharing a song with you this evening. It's a, uh, a water song that uh, came through a dream um, in one of our ceremonies. And uh, I dreamt of the song and uh, the way the song came was at, uh, at sunrise early in the morning is when it, it is when it came and I woke up and I woke uh, from a dream and and that's when I heard the song and I uh, it, it sounded so beautiful and I um, and I started to sing it um, I went outside and I um, and I I was I was actually really I guess really moved and quite overwhelmed that such a beautiful song came. Um, and I knew right away when I heard the song that it was about the water. And um, and I started to hear the words of the song. And um, so what the song talks about is that giving thanks, uh, it's got four push-ups and what it's, what it's saying is that miigwech kishemanetu Miigwech, Penesiak, Miigwech, Nukumis, Miigwech, Ikwe, Kinagachatun, Yenebe. So, what it's saying is that um, thank you, Creator. Uh, thank you, Woman Spirit, for looking after the water and taking care of the water for us. Um, as for for all and women as well, and uh, and it's also saying thank you, Thunderbirds, um, for for the water, and again, thank you for um, <laughs> Grandmother Moon. So that's what the uh, song is talking about, and um, in our in our ways and our ceremonies and in the way that we have been taught by our ancestors and by the grandmothers. We are life givers as women. We look after the water, we take care of the water. We carry our babies in, the, in our wombs, <clears throat> in the wombs of the, the mothers. And it's uh, a very sacred time. And, uh, oh, what happened? We're gone. Hello? Can you hear, still hear me? Hello? Yeah, yeah, we can still hear you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I, I heard something and, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, so anyways, I was saying, um, as women, we are life givers and we have the responsibility and the role of uh, speaking for water. Water is spiritual, it, it's sacred. 
And without the water, you know, we would not have life. And as women, we carry our babies in our wombs. And it's a, it's a very special time when we carry our babies in our wombs. And it's a ceremony in itself. And at that time, we are to always take care of ourselves and um, be careful of what uh, we ingest and what we take into our bodies and that we could only take, you know, um, good food um, water, you know, we are even told not to take uh, a lot of sugar drinks because that uh, affects the unborn child and that, you know, whatever we eat, we have to eat healthy so that we, we can um, give birth to a health, healthy baby. But also at the same time, you know, when we are in ceremony <clears throat> as, as women, um, the baby is already exposed at that time and the baby can hear everything that's outside of the, uh, the womb. So again, you know, we always have to be careful as women that, uh, you know, in our environments that it has to be a good environment and that we uh, take care of our, um, ourselves and uh, be exposed to good things. And um, because at the same time, you know, when, even when the babies are listening to those songs, they're hearing those songs already while they're inside the womb. Uh, but, um, you know, we are connected to everything that, uh, that has life. Uh, we are connected to, to the earth, to the grandmother uh, earth. We're connected to the moon. We're connected to the water. We're connected to the ceremonies, the animal life, the plant life, uh, the water life. We're, we're all connected to, um, <coughs> you know, the earth. So when, um, when this song came, um, as I mentioned earlier, it was in a ceremony. And what happened was I heard um, some men who were singing around the drum. Uh, it was outside in our community, actually, where we did the ceremony. And um, the men tried to, uh, they started to sing a woman's song. And they said, that's, uh, a song about water and but what had happened was as soon as they started singing then it, it uh, kind of uh, they couldn't remember the words of the song but I had kind of heard the song and uh, and I asked them to sing it again and for some reason it just wouldn't come and they couldn't remember so um, after that we came home and then uh, I guess that's when you know I uh, I, I started to dream. And when you are in ceremony, you're, you're, you're in spirit, you're close to spirit, you invoke spirit when you're in ceremony. And, um, and it, when you are, when you've been in ceremony for a long time, and, you know, you believe and you have faith in our way of life and in our traditional ways, our ancestral ways, um, you become uh, very closely connected and dreams start to come and, you know, start to get messages. So that's what happened. And because I really believed in our ceremonies and in our ways, um, you know, I, 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 that's what, when I heard the song. So again, you know, uh, going back to the song, um, in the words, it talks about, um, me wedged to the Thunderbirds. And again, you know, when we speak of the Thunderbirds, Penesia, um, they bring the cleansing rains, they, they bring the waters, they bring healing. And uh, like that, it, it, that those um, teachings are in that song as well. So whenever I talk about the, the song or I share a song, um, uh, to women, I will talk about all those things that how we are connected to that water, uh, to the thunderbirds, to the thunder beings, um, because they 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 also bring life because they bring that water and they water everything. They cleanse the earth. Uh, things grow, um, and as well, you know, to the grandmother moon, the grandmother moon. We are connected to to the mother, uh, the moon. And it's the grandmother moon that comes to visit the women every month, you know, and that's the time when we, we bleed as women and it's a sacred time. It's a time of ceremony. And again, we have to look after ourselves, <laughs> take care of ourselves during that time. Um, 
And if um, and then we do our ceremony. We do a full moon ceremony. We honor our uh, the grandmother moon for for coming to visit us, and she comes to teach us. Uh, she brings healing as well. You know when we. Uh, do the ceremony the grandmother moon will hear us and we we connect ourselves to the grandmother moon she controls um the waters uh she she cleans the waters by bringing that turbulence to to the oceans to the lakes uh because it's it's cleaning it has its uh way of uh cleaning the the water as well and that's something that you know when we are in our um time of um menses every month we're cleansing as well you know we, we our blood is cleaned out and we get ready to our bodies is preparing to carry that that life again it's a cycle like that's a way that uh, the cycle of life goes and you know for women <clears throat> and um and then the other thing that um uh the creator we we honor the creator because it's the creator that that brings life that gives us life and um you know we we always ask creator for for help and you know for for good things and um so that's what the song is is talking about and um i uh, i will share the song now um and again you know i um, the song is meant to be shared and it, it's been shared many times. Um, yeah, so that's what I could share for now. And I will now sing the song and, um, yeah, we wish. <clears throat> Where they are, Where they are, Where
as grandmothers and as women, that it is our role and our responsibility to teach our, our young girls, as well as our young men, uh, about the sacredness of water, because our waters have become polluted. And um, it's really important that uh, our young women and our young men understand about the sacredness of water and that um, on how to look after and take care of the water but everything else that, that's around us, the earth, uh, the animals, um, uh, to make sure and to ensure that our young ones are going to have something um, in the future so that they could have um, clean water, but as well enjoy the things that we enjoy today and that the, um, we need to continue and have that uh, continuation of, um, I guess, trying to have, uh, uh, Live, live in a healthy way, in a good way. So we, as women, as grandmothers, we have a lot of work to do and that uh, never be afraid, you know, to share about, uh, about the importance of um, looking after everything, but also looking after ourselves as young women and as, as young girls to take care of our bodies and, you know, that, uh, to view ourselves as, as spiritual because we're spiritual beings and that, um, you know, never to, um, I guess, always to be ready before, you know, we carry that life. The young girls need to be prepared and we need to teach them about the, their responsibility and about their role of uh, raising children in a good way um, and giving them those, equipping them with those uh, teachings. Uh, of the things that we have been taught as, as young men and as young women to respect each other, uh, to respect uh, the men, but also to respect the young women, but also to respect all life and to be kind to one another, to each other, to love one another. Um, so that's what I, I, I wanted to add and to share. And these are teachings that, that we share, you know, when we share the songs, um, they, our, our grandmothers and our grandparents have always told us that everybody has a song and that when you start to um, be involved in ceremony and engage yourself in, in ceremony, uh, being out on the land, you know, the spirit sees you. Our grandfathers and our grandmothers, they, they see you and they see us that we're trying to do something good. And that's why, you know, the, these songs come, but also the teachings come through spirit. Um, you know, they may come through a tree, uh, the songs, um, you know, and, um, you know, through our sacred uh, bundles that, that we use in, in ceremony, the messages come through there and, you know, the dreams, they, they guide us and they give us direction. So it's really important that, uh, you know, we, we teach our young ones because of the things that are going on right now that are happening within our communities, there's a lot of uh, death. There's a lot of uh, young uh, people that are uh, dying um, through um, 
the opioid crisis that's happening, uh, the overdoses that that's happening, you know, the suicides and you know, once they start to feel good uh, and connect themselves back to their identity, they'll start to feel good about who they are and it will help them to, um, um, I guess, to be strong emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. Um, and they'll start to have that guidance and that direction. But we also need to share with our young ones that never to be afraid to ask an elder if they're running into some trouble or they're having hard times then you know to, to to ask never be afraid to ask because that's why the elders are there and they are willing and very willing to share and they are waiting for us to share so with that i um i want to say thank you miigwech uh, I thank all of you for the invitation for me to participate and to share a little bit that, that I know that I've received uh, through the teachings, through my um, parents, grandparents, my ancestors. And um, <clears throat> so thank you. Uh, I. Uh, Say thanks to all of you, miigwech. Miigwech, Mary, for that uh, that beautiful song and uh, for the teachings, uh, the grandmother teachings, uh, and the talks about uh, about the ceremony and um, the feeling that we you get when when we're in ceremony and when just just hearing that song, you know, it always brings back that that uh, that memory of when sitting in the ceremony we're sitting around and you know the women are are doing the, the water song and blessing the water and you know it's su it's such an important uh, message you know that uh, as Anishinaabe people you know we have such a beautiful way of life you know we've been gifted and blessed in so many ways and it is through our uh, our grandmothers that, that we really see we really see that you know, and at this at this time, I just want to uh, you know give a shout out to uh, two other grandmothers that are connected with the Turtle Lodge that have had, have had a big impact on uh, on myself and, and many people, I'm sure. And that's uh, Jane Meter, the Migama from the from the East Coast, and uh, Florence Painter. You know, I believe she's on watching too. I, I want to recognize, you know, and acknowledge. Uh, those grandmothers, you know, for for everything that they they do for for the people and, and for the ceremonies. Um, so you know, once again, Mary Miigwech for uh, for the teachings and for the song, you know, for blessing us with that. Um, last session we uh, uh, we had my son Lucas on, and he sang uh, the Kichi Sabe song. Uh, eagle song and an ancestor song. We also had uh, Coco Ray Stevenson on, and he sang. Uh, it was a, an honor song. He sang in honor of uh, of my father, and you know, recognizing and, and, and acknowledging him uh, for the work that that he has done uh, for the people. He also sang a, a prayer song that he that, that he composed. Uh, he's created those songs. Uh, also, Robert uh, did uh, the old Thunderbird all the time song. You know, he's always singing, <laughs> singing that song all the time. Um, so this time we have uh, my nephew, uh, Cody Crushain. Um, You know, he's another young man similar to to my son where he uh, he grew up in the ceremonies. He grew up around the drum. Uh, he grew up learning the, the songs and um, he knows, uh, you know, he, he's, he's got the gift. You know, many people enjoy listening to him sing, you know, and uh, I know he enjoys uh, singing for the people. So, you know, I've asked him to come on tonight to, to share a few songs. But also to share uh, a little bit about his history and his connection with the drum and, and the ceremony and, and, and 
some of that. So, you know, Cody, whenever you're ready. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Would you, I mean, Ms. Pogi, is this the cause? Can you tell the name? Seguin Donji, Treaty One. First of all, I want to just say how grateful I am for this opportunity to do this and share with you guys. Uh, I wasn't expecting this for it to turn out like this. I, I thought it was just going to be a few of us on this call, but so I'm kind of lost for words right now on what to say. Um, a little bit about, about growing up, you know, coming from a, a ceremonial family was, you know, you, you heard the drum a lot. And, and I remember right back from when I was a little boy, I, I was always attracted to the drum because I, I, my grandparents used to do ceremonies in the backyard here. So the drum was always something that I, I always heard right from when I was a little boy. And I've always wondered what it was. And it, it was the sound of the drum that, that brought me to these ceremonies because I, I was curious. And again, you know, it, 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 there was that drum, I just, you know, hearing almost like a calling. That's what it sounded like, like I was being called there. And, you know, the, the drum is so important to us, it's so important to our ceremonies. And, you know, the, the, there was a lot of great opportunities too that I had growing up because of the drum. The, like, uh, did a lot of traveling, went to a bunch of different territories to, to share our songs, share the drum. And uh, like I said, I'm kind of, I kind of really don't know what to say right now because I, I wasn't expecting this. And I'm kind of lost for words right now. But uh, the first song that I was going to share with you guys is a, a turtle song and it's a newer song. It's been a newer turtle song. So uh, I don't know, David, when do I start singing? Right now? Hey. <clears throat> I'll do four push-ups of the, the turtle song. I'll start with the slowest long songs first and then I'll, I'll move on to a much quicker song. So this is how the, the turtle song goes. I 
Okay, um, I guess we're going to call up uh, our language expert, uh, Robert, um, to translate that song for us. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I can see in the, in the chat section there, um, the translation, it says, Miigwech uh, Kichi Manhood. I think there's a typo there, so... <laughs> <laughs> it should be saying miigwech uh, no 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 that's the right way <laughs> kitchy man yeah uh, yeah um I'll ha I, I i try to get back into it to correct it but i can't for some reason well okay so spell? we announced it and we you know we let people <laughs> people know so. uh-huh <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> you had to throw man in there, eh? Manhood. <laughs> yeah, it's the woman's water song. We have to be in there somewhere. <laughs> okay, so it's the turtle song I'm translating, just to be clear. Yeah. Okay. Um, I already wrote it down here, but basically the turtle song Mikinak is just is in the language is a turtle. But whenever we're sharing uh, these um, beings in any of our songs or in ceremonies, we're actually referencing the spirit of those beings. So for the purpose of this song, what we're really saying is, Mekinak, what we're saying is turtle spirit. Otakonan is carrying Debwe uh, when truth. So the turtle spirit is carrying that teaching of truth. And then Obiminan, that turtle spirit is coming to share that teaching of truth or give that teaching of truth. So that's what that song is talking about. Uh, when that song is, is shared, it makes us um, think about that teaching of truth and what's all involved with that. Um, there, there's a lot um, of thought and feeling that goes into that teaching of truth. You know, it's um, the, the, the turtle in the spirit world is known as the fastest spirit in the spirit world. Yet here in the physical realm, it's known as one of the slowest moving creatures. And in the spirit world, the turtle is, is a messenger, as are many of the other spirits, and because it has that ability to move back and forth quickly. Uh, it's used as one of the main messengers. And it also is care, it helps as it's moving back and forth, it creates that trail that we're supposed to follow, that trail that leads us to truth. You know, for the longest time, as an example, as indigenous people, we were not allowed to express ourselves in our ways. Um, we had some younger relatives that came to our lands that imposed their ways upon us. And by doing that, they were in essence um, restricting us to share our truth. You know, uh, we're now in the times of truth and reconciliation, as they call it. And part of that, that truth is we need to be, um, not that we need to, I'll, I'll reword that. We finally have the ear, if I can say that, of the non-Indigenous community in particular, but even importantly so, our own people. You know, there's more and more people that are wanting to learn the ways of their ancestors, which makes sessions such as this session very popular people are wanting to know what are these songs about what are the words saying in these songs what am i being taught in these songs and again that's all part of that truth you know we're, we're sharing our truth 
people are now willing to hear our truth and they're taking that truth and applying it to their own lives, which will only extend um, again, that teaching of truth in how we should all interact and how we're all to relate with the earth itself, much like uh, the, the song uh, that Mary shared, the water song and everything that entails. So that's basically what that song is talking about. All these songs that we share, there's a lot of meaning behind them. And the only way you're really going to get to understand and appreciate all that is first off by learning the songs and then learning to share those songs and then to feel that spirit of those songs. So that's all I have to say for now. Miigwech. Miigwech for, uh, for those translations and uh, for the teachings again that, that, that come with that song and the, the spirit of the turtle. Uh, so we'll go back to Cody and he's got uh, couple more songs i think it's the black bear cody yeah yeah that next the next song i'm gonna sing is uh uh the black bear song so i'll just get right to it <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
Cody, um, I guess we can, uh, we'll go back to Robert to get the translation to that Black Bear song. Robert? Yep, yep, I'm just uh, finishing the typing part of it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to go as the songs are sung, so that way each song is done. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, again, uh, these songs that are sung, they are they come in different forms, right? Um, some some of the people that receive these songs are are, are dreaming of them. Uh, if they go out uh, on the land, uh, whether they're vision questing or fasting or or in other ceremony, you know, a lot of times these songs come. And we, we have all kinds of different songs that come in those forms and fashions through different people. Uh, this song, I'm not sure who was gifted this song. It's, it's one of the more um, recent songs, if I can call that, because there is another uh, bear song that we sing, which is an older version. And that song um, can be interchanged um, depending on the direction. You can say, whatever, or you can actually use all four colors, which are the different colors, the different races. But this song in particular is specific to the, the spirit of the black bear. You know, um, the black bear um, is, I, for those of you that are hunters, etc., you know, the black bear, um, I don't hunt them because I don't eat them, but I know some people do. And when you skin out a bear, um, it resembles the carcass, if I can say that, of a human uh, very closely, which again confirms for us that we are very closely related to the bear uh, and the spirit of the bear. And there's many teachings that come with the bear, in particular, the black bear. You know, uh, we use, if we do by chance, uh, harvest one of these animals for whatever reason, whether to, to eat it or to use its fur or its other products like its, um, its, its skull, its, uh, its um, claws, and of course the bear grease, right? where the fat is rendered down into a grease that we use as a medicine. These are some of the gifts that the bear provides for us. And it also gives us other gifts though, like during the time of uh, hibernation, you know, uh, they hibernate. Um, they go into a deep slumber during the winter months where they are resting. Uh, in the fall, they uh, eat a lot of stuff to try and build up their fat reserves so their fat can carry them through their hibernation period. And then they come out again in the spring. And the teachings that they bring us are, are numerous and varied. But again, uh, we need to respect it. It, 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 it has the, uh, the teachings of mothering, you know, in the way that it takes care of its cubs. It's very protective of its cubs which is why they always say, if you ever come across a bear in particular in the springtime, give it as wide a path as you can possibly give it because chances are it may be a female bear and she may have cubs in the area and then she can become quite dangerous because all she's doing is protecting her babies from any potential harm, which is how we as humans should be looking after our children. But for some reason, the society we live in today, we, we, for, we forgot to do that. We're forgetting to do that. You know, a lot of times nowadays, you know, when a child is born, an infant, um, we'll put them in a crib in a separate room 
and this child is left in that room by itself and it's laying on its back and it's staring up in the wall. Not how a mother uh, bear looks after her cubs. She keeps them close by her at all times and she cuddles up with them. You know, that's how our, our people used to look after their, their young ones. So that, that song, look at that black bear. That song is imploring us to look at that bear and the spirit of that bear and to try and remember the teachings that bear is trying to give us. You know, they eat berries to heal themselves. Um, all their foods are natural um, in most instances. Then you also get what they call um, garbage dump bears, right? Now, these are bears that are uh, opportunists, I guess. They see an easy meal, they'll go and eat that too. But by them eating that garbage, they too become sick, right? And if we were to take that bear and try and use its fat for medicine, we too would be sick. So even within there, that teaching of you are what you eat, you know, we need to be cautious all the time. So there's a lot of teachings within, again, all these songs. And this is just some examples of some of the teachings that this particular song is trying to make us remember and to think about. Miwetch. Miwetch for that, uh, that translation. Um, we'll go back to... Uh, We'll go back to Cody. He's got one more song. Um, I'll let him uh, talk a bit about the song and explain the song to you. Go ahead, Cody. Okay. Um, this last song that I'm going to sing is, uh, is a song that I sang this past summer for, uh, for the grandmothers. So I guess in a way, it, it's, it's like a, a calling in song. So when we're when we're inviting the uh, the grandmothers and the grandfathers, so I, I had to come. I had to think of a song to sing. So I, I think this one is uh, is the appropriate one. I'll, I'll sing that song. Yeah. 
Okay, does uh did you want to translate that song? Robert? Okay. Are you on mute? No, I cut off mute. Okay. I'm just finishing this last type here. Gizhi money do. Okay. Mean again. Great. Yeah, just give me a sec here. Great creator. Great creator. Slash SPI. Okay, I think I got it. Anyway, it as Cody stated, it's a calling in song, and what it's saying is being again, nukumis, being again, come in, nukumis, grandmother spirit. Being again, come in, nukumis, grandmother spirit. Being again, come in, hitchimanito, great creator, great spirit. So again, it's a calling in song. You're, you're asking the spirits to come and honor whatever ceremony you're a part of with their presence and their teachings and, 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 and their help and guidance. These are the things that you're asking when you're, you're sharing that song and ceremony. And I remember when Cody sang that song, there was a special ceremony that we were asked to conduct. And it was basically Cody and I that led uh, that portion of that ceremony and we had to go up by the fire to make an offering uh, that we had prepared and we had to share this song to call those spirits to come and accept that offering that we were providing for them for the teachings that they had brought uh, into that ceremony that took place at the turtle lodge when we were when we were there with uh, the elders from across canada so that's basically what that song was about and what its what its purpose is. It's a calling in song. Miigwech. Miigwech, Robert. I remember uh, I was at that ceremony too and I remember um, the elders talking about uh, the importance of uh, uh, acknowledging uh, our ancestors. You know, they, they recognize and, and they look at uh, the world that we live in today and the many challenges that we face. And in order for us to be able to, to meet those challenges, we, we need that help from, uh, from the spirit. And we need that help and that guidance from our, our ancestors. And, and it, is through, uh, it is through the ceremony that we, we are able to, to access that. You know, we're, we're taught on how to to make offering. Uh, we are taught to, on how to to talk to to the spirit and, and to the ancestors. You know, in, in these ceremonies, you know, in, in in doing that, we we open up a doorway, allowing uh, the spirit and allowing the the ancestors to come and to to help guide us and protect us and direct us in in. Uh, in helping us uh, deal with the challenges that we have. Um, I guess at this point would we, there was a question that was, uh, that was emailed through uh, uh, to the Turtle Lodge. And uh, if I can find it, it was, uh, I asked, I, I told Robert I would defer it to him. Uh, and this question was talking about, uh, I know that there are protocols for songs and was wondering if we are to follow those protocols in offering tobacco and gifts to learn the songs and to share them here in Treaty 9. So that's the question. 
Robert? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I sent him that. You didn't get my response? No. Oh. <laughs> you didn't want to answer. <laughs> I answered it right away, but anyway. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Here's how I responded, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Again, as with any of our sacred ways, we are always taught that tobacco comes first. It always leads whenever we're doing anything within our, our sacred ways. So yes, to whoever asked this question, you should offer tobacco to the people that are hosting this event. Uh, how you're going to get that tobacco to them is falls upon you. But I, I know there's a lot of people because of COVID and all this other stuff happening these days that they're mailing the tobacco or with a gift. With a gift. All right. And that's something that needs to happen. And that way, by doing that, you are not only honoring yourself, but more importantly, you're honoring the spirit of those songs and the teachings that come with those songs, which will then allow you to share those songs in a good way. And on that note, another thing that I've come across as of recent that I in particular do not agree with is this newfangled idea of what they're calling virtual tobacco. I don't know what that is, okay? There is no such thing. Uh, it has to be the physical tobacco, okay? Uh, to me, and again, with all due respect to those people that are using that idea of virtual tobacco, uh, that's a lazy man's way of, of getting out of one of the most sacred protocols of our ways. And again, with all due respect, you know, uh, to me, that's somebody that lacks the understanding of the real purpose and intent of gifting that tobacco by trying to use something as that they're calling virtual tobacco. I don't agree with it. Um, and I stand my ground on that. There might be people that will argue against it, but that's their prerogative. So I hope I answered the question and I also cleared the air with respect to gifting the tobacco, but yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, so already I've been getting a response and uh, someone's gonna be email, uh, e uh, texting you some tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, thanks again, Robert, for, <laughs> for that teaching. You know, I hear that, uh, um, you know, whenever we're in ceremony, it's such, a, it's such a beautiful feeling, you know, to be around people, to be around the singers, to, to hear the drum and to feel the songs. It, it's, it's, again, it's indescribable. You know, it just feels so good. You know, you, your spirit is, feels so alive. And I'm getting, you know, I'm hearing that uh, there's people that are on the call and they're really feeling, uh, they're really feeling the songs, you know, it, it, it's bringing back uh, a memory of when we were in ceremony, when we're sitting around and we're all together and we're, we're, we all have that good feeling, you know, so, you know, it, it feels good to be a part of, uh, of the, this session. Um, we're going to, uh, you know, I want to, again, once again, acknowledge, uh, uh, I want to acknowledge the Turtle Lodge. Um, they, they took a lot of our stuff that we're doing and they, they put it out there, uh, put the information out there to, to reach more people and uh, acknowledge the, what we're doing here. Um, you know, of course, um, all the, like, Red Shadow originated from, uh, and is connected with the, with the Turtle Lodge. Um, so I want to acknowledge the Turtle Lodge crew for putting that stuff out there. I want to acknowledge uh, our tech people here. Um, uh, my sister-in-law, Amy, uh, my other sister, Joni, and my wife, Lisa, you know, who's taking care of a lot of this, uh, this tech stuff. You know, I'm not so, so, tech savvy you know i don't know how to do that i can 
sit here and talk about different things and share different things and that type of stuff, you know. So I want to I want to acknowledge them, you know, for their work. Um, uh, another elder that's that, that I heard was on was uh, my brother Vern, Vern McWatch and Laura, you know, in from Mobert. Uh, I don't think they Zoom over there, they Zam over there. You always hear him talking about Zam. <laughs> so uh, we also have people from Pegwis, uh, people from the East Coast, right across, you know, so it does some amazing things, you know, where we're able to get together and gather in this type of setting and, and share the teachings and, and share the songs. Um, you know, it's always, uh, it, it feels good, you know, to the, to hear the songs, you know, and listening to people's responses and uh, to the point where there there's tears, you know, that's how, that's how they feel, you know, and we honor that. Um, so, you know, maybe what we'll do is we'll get Cody to, uh, to, sing uh, a, a final song you know a closing song and then we'll we'll wrap it up you know i know there's uh it'd be nice to be on here for a few hours and that type of thing you know, but uh, i'm not allowed so <laughs> uh, so if uh cody if you want to take it away do another do another song and then we'll I'll do, uh, I'll do one more song. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh, yeah, well, I, 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 well, Yeah. 
Okay, um, did you get that, Robert? <laughs> You're on mute, Robert. Uh, no. Still? Okay, just good now. Okay, Cody, I need you to slowly tell me what, what you're saying. I know you're saying as I walk, I, I recognize it as a traveling song, but the first part of the words I'm missing. I think it's, Can you uh, hear me? King, King O'Shea, or, 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 you know, uh, Ray, Ray knows the proper words to that song. Yeah, yeah, because it, there's something ain't right there. Coco Ray? That's, that's, Coco Ray. Ray. You know what? That's an Ontario song, right? Gingo song. It's an Ontario uh, dialect. And then when a, it, it sounds uh, like a traveling song, though. Yeah, well, there's there's two like that are very similar. There's one that they sing at powwows most of the time for this, and then a lot of times. They'll sing another one at funerals, but both are being used <coughs> to close off the circle at the end of it. But it's Gengo okay. Sha. Gengo Sha. Gengo Sha. It's it's like this is the way, this is uh this is the way uh we walk this life. Our way of walking this life was what what it was translated to me. This is the way of this is the way we walk. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I understand what you're saying now, Gengo Gengo Again, it's that, uh, as you state, that Ontario dialect. Yes. Would, uh, for us over here would be, uh, how would I we translate that? We like, this is the way we walk our, 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 our walk in life, yes. is basically what that song is talking about. So it's kind of like, a, it's a song talking about life's journey but it could also be used as a traveling song yes. until i yeah until I, I i talk to the person where that song came from i, I wouldn't be clear in how to translate it because i could be totally off and that's what you need to be careful about with respect to our songs and that's why we're doing this as part of it is a lot of times people are sharing the songs but they're not pronouncing the words in the songs properly and if you're not doing that properly, you could actually be saying something totally opposite of what you think the song is supposed to be about. Which is why, again, part of the reason we're doing this is to try and teach in a proper way uh, what the words are actually are and what they're the talking about and the translation of those and the spirit and intent of each song. So that's, that's part of the challenge of... Uh, doing this kind of work is when we're having to work with different dialects. And an example of that is using the English language as an example. Uh, there's Canadian English, you have British English, you have Australian English, you even have, uh, I'll, I'll say Scottish or Irish English, right? They all have different slants and different terms and and sometimes it's hard to understand because of those differences. And the same holds true for uh, our indigenous languages and the different dialects of each language. So that's the best I can do on that one. Okay. Thank you, Robert. I guess you, I guess you could hear me. <laughs> I wasn't on mute. <laughs> uh, Todd Geno is uh, he's, he's, 
he's saying that the, the song came from Tommy White, you know, which is an elder in uh, Treaty 3. You know, I've had the opportunity to uh, to travel with Tommy and spend some some time, you know, the, the late Tommy White, and he was he was an incredible elder. And um, i share a quick story, you know, about Tommy. Uh, we were in Washington and we were at the, we went to the White House and we spent some time there. And when we were there, the elders, they wanted to, uh, they wanted to find a, a casino that was close by. So I went on Google Maps and I'm looking and I said, there's a casino here. It's closer than the one they were trying to go to. Here, go to this one. And I wrote down the address and I gave him the address. And it's okay, we'll go to this one. And those those old guys, they got in a cab and they took off. You know, they went to the casino with the, that address I gave them. And then uh, uh, not too long after, me and my uncle were standing outside of the hotel and we see them pulling up again. They come back to the hotel and they look kind of stunned and they were a little upset. There's that guy right there. And they were just mad at me. I said, what, what, what's going on? And they said, you know where you sent us? I said, no, I, well, casino. No, that wasn't a casino. You know, we we're driving out of the city and it was getting dark and then we we're getting, where the heck is the casino, they were saying. And then as they got closer to the building, they found out it was an old folks home. And they were just mad <laughs> that I sent them to an, uh, to an old folks home. You know, and they never let me forget that, uh, what I did to them. And they had, they got such a kick out of that, you know, and with our elders uh, and the teachings that they give, because as we're young, we we're constantly learning, you know, and with, with elders, um, they will always teach in kindness. They will always teach with, uh, with, with their heart, you know, they're kind and they're gentle. You know, in, in that sense, you know, that's and it, it feels good to be around uh, that kind of that kind of learning and that kind of teaching, because we're we're always going to make mistakes and we're always going to learn, you know, so, you know, it's important that we we carry that that kindness with us. You know, we listen to our, our grandmothers, you know, and our, our grandparents, and they talk about the importance of that, that teaching and that kindness. Uh, another shout out I want to give to is um, Betty Ann Little Wolf. You know she's she's on here tonight. Her and you know her husband uh, Morris. You know I want to acknowledge them. You know for for the work that they do and the teachings that they give. You know and um, so it's uh, it's 25 after. You know it's been about an hour and a half. Uh, it's coming close to an end. What we're gonna try do is. Um, we're going to uh, we're trying to line up as much as we can different uh, red shadow singers because we've had a number of singers go through that have sang and sat on the drum on the red shadow and sat in the ceremonies and, and sang the songs. Um, I've, I'm going to reach out to different singers and ask them to come on, you know, and, and share their own experience and share some songs. Um, I've already reached out to Todd uh, Todd Geno. Um, for those of you, uh, and I find it very hard to believe that you haven't heard if you haven't heard his name before. He's he's a real famous uh, comedian now, you know, in the, in the Thunder Bay area. So we're we're gonna have him on in, uh, in one of the sessions. You know, maybe the next next one or two, and some other other singers and, and different elders. You know, of course, we'll, we'll always have uh, Robert, our language expert, on to, to help translate the, the songs. You know, we'll again, be we'll be compiling uh, the translations of the songs in and then we'll have them on in one file. So when people that want to, uh, to get those songs and to learn, you know, the, the, the proper wording in that, you know, so with that, you know, again, you know, it's... Uh, it's it's been good you know to be able to be here and to be a part of uh hearing the songs and, and listening to uh, grandmother mary and her teachings her sacred teachings in the in the water song 
you know, also uh, my, my nephew Cody, you know, when you think about the history of um, the Red Shadow Singers and how many de- generations that, that went through, you know, the last, uh, the last session we had, uh, Coco talked about, uh, talked about my father and how, and how he's like the original Red Shadow Singer kind of thing you know he was there in the beginning you know and that helped create you know a lot of this uh, traditional ceremonial environment for us to come together and to to celebrate life and to heal and to support one another you know so you know it would be nice to uh, to have him you know in one of the sessions you know possibly hey Rhonda I can see you <laughs> um so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to like I'm reaching out to different different singers, and if anybody wants uh, to come and you know offer their songs, let me know, and then we'll 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 arrange it. You know, we'll arrange time slots, and then we'll have people come in and, and share the songs and and all of that. So um, um, and again, if there's any questions people have, you know, you can ask throughout the throughout the 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 zoom zoom call and you could just put it in the chat or you can email again you know email or text the questions and we'll we'll get to them in the in the next uh session so with that you know i want to stay miigwech for for joining us and for being a part of uh this evening you know i i, I want to hear more you know, and I wish there was more time, but, you know, again, there will be more time, you know, as we, we as we go along, you know, we'll, we'll create that time and that space to, to get together and to, uh, to just to hear the sacred songs and uh, feel good. So with that, you know, I want to wish everybody well, you know, good health, you know, keep safe, you know, in these trying times. Um, next week is, um, valentine's valentine's day right you know we don't celebrate one day here as we do super valentine's week us. God. so every every day of the week we're we got to do something to <laughs> to celebrate our our companionship <laughs> so you know with that i will say miigwech and we're we're signing off you know miigwech thank you sabe we miss you guys yeah Hope we see you. each other this summer Miss you. <laughs> okay, there's okay. Yeah.